Hey, welcome to my channel. Um, this is going to go in an interesting direction. I'm actually going to be starting a series here on this YouTube channel called Couch to Crit, inspired by Jeff at NorCal Cycling and what he's doing with the couple of people that he's helping train right now. Um, so I've been cycling for about a year now. Uh, really got into it during the pandemic, at the start of the pandemic, really. Um, so I'm going to be going on this journey of wanting to uh, start racing in crits. I've been you know, doing it for fun and I've really gotten bit by the bug of cycling and I want to take that next level. I'm 26 years old, so in no way, shape or form am I expecting to go pro or anything like that, but I do want to get... Um, into the the racing side of it uh, and draw on my competitive nature from sports I've played in the past. So, so with that being said, uh, who am I? What am I doing? What am I getting myself into? Uh, why am I making this blog? What are my goals? What am I really trying to get out of this? Well, uh, for one, I just want to have fun. I have you know a background in videography i've always wanted to channel that into making something for youtube and now is my opportunity to do so so um that coupled with uh my passion for cycling that has really developed recently i wanted to kind of put those two uh skills to the test here not to say i'm a amazing cyclist i mean i can barely ride with no hands um but uh, getting there and I'm really enjoying the process of learning more and so on. So um, my goal for this channel and for documenting this progress is to simply uh, have documentation for myself and then to also hopefully motivate others that um, it's possible starting from, you know, the ground floor, maybe at a later age, you know, you're not in your teens, you're not going into youth development camps you're not going you're not racing juniors but you're jumping straight into cat fives as an you know adult um so that's what i'll be doing i'll be using um zwift for for training uh mostly so i'll be actually doing an ftp test today uh really excited about that um and then after that ftp test we'll start going into the ft builder We'll, after that FTP test, we'll start going into the FTP builder uh, training program on Zwift as that's kind of, you know, that's what I have available to me. Um, and yeah, we'll go from there. So not a great FTP test. I'll just put that out there now. Um, but I did learn a lot about um, myself while doing this test. This isn't my first ever FTP test. It's actually my second. Um, and some disclaimers, I don't have a power meter on my bike. I'm only using the power reading that's coming from the Wahoo kicker snap. So just a disclaimer there. Um, so as you can see here, we're doing the warm up free ride five minutes. Kind of just did, you know, some spinning, got the legs warmed up and loose because I did do a long ride on Sunday in the wind, so that wasn't fun. But um, before we even get into the FTP test and it actually um, getting into the, the difficult part of it, um, my FTP going into this is uh, 164 watts. I weigh 170 pounds. I'm always in between 170 and 173, so that puts me roughly at about um, 2.1 watts per kilogram, which is actually my power to weight ratio after this new um, FTP test, which actually ends at 162, which I was extremely disappointed about um, with in myself. But as you can see, um, as you will see uh, <laughs> at the end. Um, but with all that being said, I am using this as like a wake up call, so to speak, um, but also as a, a base to, to know my power outputs, right? So let's get into it. Um, as you can see, this is a the standard ramp test on Zwift. Um, starts off at a 100 watts. Super easy, right? You can hold that all day. Um, and I was actually feeling really good up until I got 
to um, 240, 260, uh, and then just instantly turned off. But uh, <laughs> we'll see that, we'll get there. Um, at 100 watts, I felt really good. I, uh, my legs were still sore. I, I kind of knew going into this that this probably wasn't gonna be great, um, but I was actually at least hoping to see some gains because I've been riding a lot since the last time I did my FTP test, which was the FTP ramp light test on Zwift, and I did that back in October. So uh, it's been a few months now. Uh, we're in February now, so I was hoping for um, a better result, but unfortunately we did not get that. So anyway, <laughs> um, so I'm watching the test. We're at 120 watts now, um, still feeling really good. So why don't we skip ahead to 200 and see how it goes from there. All right, so we're right at the edge of 200. So this is where I started feeling it a little bit here. Um, still feeling really good. And then one thing that was really frustrating me about this ride is that I couldn't see my heart rate. Um, I don't know what was going on with my heart rate monitor, um, but as you can see from the Zwift video, it's reading 78. Um, that's impossible. At some point I did open up my, my phone to check my whoop band and that was reading 140, 150 when I was still at about like 120, 140 watts. Um, I have a max heart rate about uh, 199, 198, I think is the highest I've seen. I did push like 202 during a sprint once, um, but I <laughs> did not feel good after that. So um, yeah, as a you know 26 year old, my heart rate is pretty high, um, but uh, I think it's just kind of a testament to my overall fitness. It's not really there yet so to speak. Um, all right, but so I think I mentioned that it was like 240, 260 watts where I started feeling it, but it was not, it was 220 and it was right here. I don't know if um, there's something wrong with the trainer and ERG mode or what's going on, but it was very clear that for some reason it just got really tough out of nowhere. Lugs were toast. Um, like I, was tired obviously it's a ram test but i didn't feel like i actually completed the ram test properly because it just out of nowhere went from cadence was fine everything felt good to like like i was spinning it i mean i don't have a cadence sensor on this bike either i have it all on my actual road bike i have two bikes um but it i don't know i don't know i don't know what it was i would i don't know if it was just a bad day but Despite all of that, I'm not gonna give any excuses. This is my FTP, it's at 162. That puts me at 2.1 watts per kilogram, um, which is very low, uh, but it gives us a base. It gives us somewhere to start. And I'm looking forward to um, moving into the um, FTP builder uh, workout and, and see what we get out of that. But all in all, I, um, uh, yeah, I feel like I completely failed that. <laughs> um, so let me know uh, if there's any tips that you all have uh, for anyone that's also using the Wahoo Kicker Snap. Uh, it'd be great to kind of hear if I'm doing something wrong. But as you can see there, it was it was right when we made that turn and it was slightly uphill. ERG was engaged. It was right at 220, 220 watts. So by all intents and purposes, it should have been fine. I should have been able to hold that cadence I was already in, but it just didn't feel like I was in the same power. Um, so let me know um, if there's anything that I need to change on my end, that'd be great. Episode two will be out next week where I make the mistake of joining a crit race on Zwift, knowing damn well my watts per kilogram is 2.1. So. Um, I did enter in the D-ranked races, which technically for my watts per kilogram, I'm okay to join. But yeah, so tune in next Sunday for that fail. <laughs>